every ham radio operator needs a good handheld radio. It's usually the first radio you buy is a new ham. And even if you're experienced, you can always upgrade your toolkit. But there are so many options. It can be overwhelming. And you want to make sure you get a radio that is the right functionality at a fair price. That's why we reviewed all the major options to come up with the top five handhelds. Coming up. This is Hi, I'm Jim N4BFR, the lead instructor at Ham Radio Prep. There are many reasons for a new handheld. You might want to have the latest and greatest model. You might be starting ham radio and want an idea of the best options. Either way, we're here for you. We're going to count down what the Ham Radio Prep team thinks are the top five handhelds in ham radio right now. We'll also sneak in bonus radios and honorable mentions that you might consider as well. By the way, we have not been sponsored or paid to review any of these radios. This is our honest opinion on the top handheld radios today. We consider factors like price, functionality, modes of operation, and ease of use in our ranking. Ready? Let's get started with number five. Some of the most popular and iconic beginner radios are from Balfang. There are many options available online for less than $100. You can't go wrong with purchasing a Baofeng. They are very affordable and have the basic functionality you need. It's super easy to find guides on how to program and operate them. Baofengs are most common with beginners. But even experienced hams will often have one lying around or in the trunk of their car as a spare. The Baofeng BF F8HP Pro is our top choice in Baofengs available today. It's built on the most popular and universal Baofeng platform. However, this one is upgraded for more power and functionality. This enhanced version has a nice full color screen too. This radio allows you to transmit on the 2 meters and 70 centimeters bands. These are the most common in ham radio for handhelds. In fact, all the other radios we mentioned in this video will operate on those bands. What makes this Baofeng attractive is its additional functionality as a radio receiver. You'll be able to pick up FM broadcast, the weather service, aviation band, and GMRS while scanning. With 8 watts of power output, you can expect to work simplex contacts in the 5 mile range. You'll also be able to operate via local repeaters in town to give your signal an even longer reach. Our honorable mention in the category of low priced radios is the Quan Chang UV K5. If you like hacking your gear, this might be the best choice for experimenting. It's less than $30 online. To us, that's a price where we're not going to worry about breaking it. These two radios both come with USB-C charging, which is great. This is an emerging trend over the last year or so. We like the fact that the days of proprietary cables will soon be behind us. Now, we put these in as number five because there are some downsides. With these low-priced Chinese radios, you don't get the same signal quality and fine-tuning. They also don't have some of the digital options you'll find in other radios in our list. But at this price point, it's worth picking one up. In the number four slot, we're picking the Yezu FT5DR. The Yezu FT5DR is a great reliable radio from one of the top manufacturers with lots of bells and whistles. It'll operate on FM with no issues. It also is the first radio on our list to feature onboard APRS functionality. If you don't know about APRS, check out our guide to getting started. This has a nice big colored display 
In fact, it's the only one on the list with a touchscreen. Plus, it has all the waterproofing and ruggedization you want in a handheld. Yezu radios support the popular digital mode called System Fusion. You might hear it as C4FM. Relative to digital modes, Fusion is easy to configure. The FT5DR is the top of the line Fusion radio. You should find one for less than $400. It also has advanced features like Bluetooth capability. One add-on you'll want is to pick up a micro SD card. You can use this for programming or recording contacts. There is an option to get on the System Fusion digital bandwagon for about half the price. Our honorable mention here is the Yezu FT70DR. It has a simpler LCD screen and costs less than $200. One thing we don't like about the Yezus is that they have not adopted USB-C integration on their radios. So expect to pay a few extra bucks to add on the appropriate programming cable for your radio. You'll want it for setting up repeater memories. You can do some of this on the 5DR by cycling the SD card in and out of the radio. But in our experience, you'll have better luck with the cable. Do you want a rugged radio with great quality without all the extra bells and whistles? Look no further than the Yezu FT65R. Rugged, reliable, and high quality. That makes the Yezu FT65R a great choice for emergency communications. We've even featured this radio in our MCOM 101 and Ham Radio Basics courses. Despite also needing a proprietary cable, it's straightforward to program. It's currently selling for $109 online. Another feature we like is manufacturer supportive accessories. For about $220 all in, you can get the FT65R with a spare battery, speaker mic, and programming cable. Plus, throw in a third party antenna for some extra gain. If you buy the Azu, you'll drop it in its cradle for charging and be ready to pick it up and head out the door. We also cover programming the FT65 in our Ham Radio Basics course. Similar to the FT65R from Yezu is the FT4XR. It's a little smaller than the FT65 and about $10 more, but it has roughly the same features and accessories. So if you want something that fits in your hand a little better, think about the FT4XR. Here's a third option to consider. Call it our honorable mention in the rugged and reliable category. Check out the ICOM ICT10. It's about $40 more than the Azu, but it has the same options to add on like extra batteries and speaker mics. In the testing we've done, it has a very similar feel and function to the Azu. Coming in at number two is the Anytone AT-D878-UVII+. It's the DMR radio that will almost do it all without breaking the bank. From a form factor perspective, brick is a good term for this radio, but it does everything you want. The color screen is easy to read and full of information. If you want good value for a handheld, this is a top candidate. This radio will do FM, DMR, a very popular digital mode, and has built-in GPS for APRS functionality. This is a good radio to shop for in a bundle with accessories. One kit we saw included a programming cable and speaker mic for less than $340. Add in a spare battery and you're good for a long outing. With DMR and APRS, you should expect a little more complexity. There'll be a learning curve to set this up, more so than the previous radios on our list. With the right tutorials though, it is very manageable. Let's chat honorable mentions. We've been testing a GD88 DMR radio from Radiodity for a few weeks, and it's worked well on both FM and DMR repeaters. It has a bigger screen than the Anytone. 
Radioudity's bundle has a speaker mic, programming cable, and spare battery. It costs just under $290. A couple of things to remember if you're going the DMR route. It is the most difficult digital mode to program. In the world of DMR, your programming file is called a code plug. In that, you'll have lots of settings to adjust. Just one of those settings is called color codes. Those are really numbers. So if you buy a DMR radio, expect a big learning curve. Don't forget to register your call sign too. To use DMR, you have to get a radio ID number. You can do that at radioid.net. We've mentioned a lot of things we like in this review so far. We like radios that do APRS. We like radios that have integrated USB-C. We get all of that and more in the Kenwood THD75A. This is a top-of-the-line radio, but it delivers. Besides all that, it's a fine D-Star radio. Let's start with D-Star. Around 2004, D-Star started becoming a popular digital mode, and it was all focused on ICOM. They made very functional radios that handled FM and D-Star functionality. I still run with an ICOM ID5100 in my car. Kenwood decided to jump into the D-Star arena in 2016 with a THD-74. This quickly became popular among hams. They liked its strong APRS integration and its D-Star support. During COVID, Kenwood phased out of the D-74, but in early 2024, it released the D-75. The upgrade was worth the wait. All the same features were available in a slightly streamlined package. HAMS also got an upgrade from micro USB to USB-C for programming. Plus, we got USB-C charging. Now, instead of a spare battery, you can bring a power pack along and charge on the go. If I can only take one radio with me, I'm taking the THD75. I can make FM repeater contacts, work D-Star, and track my location with the onboard GPS. If I get a good pass, I can send some APRS packets through the ISS's Digipeter too. A super versatile radio. Can anything make this radio better? Here's our request to Kenwood. How about a DMR version? Or why not something that does both DMR and D-Star? It's priced at $750 because of the demand. We have a couple of alternatives. ICOM's D-Star handhelds are very well made and super reliable. If you just want to talk D-Star with an HT, check out the ICOM ID50A. It's got a nice monochrome size screen and USB-C charging and connectivity. It's a great entry-level radio for D-Star at $400. If you want to upsize to a color screen and some additional functionality, get the ICOM ID52A+. Plus. This is the regular 52A. The Plus means it has USB-C connectivity and charging. It has some fun features you can do via Bluetooth, including sharing pictures. The downside is that you need someone else with a high-end ICOM to be on the receiving end to get the pictures. We found this price at under $700. On the ICOM radios, instead of APRS, you'll get DPRS. It'll send your location data along with your voice transmissions when enabled. We mentioned that the top of the line Yezu has a slot for micro SD storage cards. You'll also find that functionality on these three D-Star radios. Plus, you can save memory settings and pictures. And you can set all four of these to record your QSOs. Record them as you go and log them later. D-Star does share one function with DMR. You need to register your call sign before you can use D-Star. You can do that at dstargateway.org. Now that you've seen the top options on the market today, 
Let's recap to help you make a choice. First, let's go through the list by radio functionality. We'll start with two radios that have the basic functionality for working FM simplex or repeaters. Want an inexpensive radio that covers two major handbands and a wide range of receive options? We chose the Baofeng BF F8HP Pro. When you want a rugged and reliable radio, consider the Yaesu FT65R. It's solid in performance. That means it's well suited for field work like emergency communications. Plus, it's well supported with manufacturer features and well documented. APRS is a really fun feature to use for position data and messaging. The top of the line here is the Kenwood THD75. The ASU FT5DR is a solid performer as well. Or try the APRS functionality on the Anytone 878. If you're okay with just positioning, try DPRS in the ICOM ID50. If your preferred digital mode is System Fusion, we suggest you pick the Yaesu FT5DR. It's the top of the line handheld for Fusion. Consider the Yaesu FT70 if you want to get your toe in the water with Fusion and save a few bucks. If you're going for DMR, we recommend the Anytone AT-D878-UVII+. It beat out the Radiodity GT88 in our view. You'll really be fine with either. Maybe a tip here is to find out which one a friend has and pick that one up. Then you can do some code plug sharing. That will help with the early programming learning curve. Our top D-Star handheld is our top pick overall. The Kenwood THD75 is very versatile. It does FM, D-Star, and APRS natively. It has GPS on board, and you store all your memories and recordings on a micro SD card. You access it all and can even charge with a USB-C connection. Now, if you want to get a D-Star handheld for less, you will not be disappointed with the ICOM ID50 instead. Sometimes it's not about all the features you want, it's about all the features you can afford. So let's review our top five by price point. The Baofeng BF F8HP Pro is under $70. For that, you'll like its eight watts of power. You can use it for FM simplex and repeaters. Plus the options to receive other bands and USB-C charging. The rugged and reliable Yaesu FT65 runs around $110. All in with add-ons, you'll only spend around $220. The Anytone AT-D878UVII Plus is available as a kit. Bundle up for less than $350. Then hit the road with FM, DMR, and APRS functionality. The top of the line System Fusion pick is under $400. The Yaesu FT5DR will get you into the APRS game as well. Budget some extra for accessories, including a proprietary programming cable. Our number one pick is a top of the line radio and a top of the line price. At $750, the Kenwood THD75 is worth it for D-Star and APRS functionality. Thanks for watching our top five handhelds video. We go into much more detail on getting started with handhelds in our ham radio basics course. Go to hamradioprep.com to find out more. If we missed one of your favorite radios, leave us a comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. I'm Jim and for BFR and for all of us at Ham Radio Prep, 73 for now. We hope to hear you on the air soon. Maybe with a new handheld?